गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू लेसन दैट इज फॉरेस्ट यूजेस एंड प्रोटेक्शन ओके इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स दैट आर रिलेटेड टू द एग्जैक्ट डेफिनेशन ऑफ फॉरेस्ट एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फॉरेस्ट हाउ कैन यू क्लासिफाई द फॉरेस्ट एंड what are the uses of forest and how to protect the forest and why we should protect our forest these are the topics we, which we can cover in this lesson that are now let us see the topics that are covered in this lesson that are the first one is about the definition of forest what is forest forest the definition of forest definition of forest the classification of forest the different types of forests uses of forests and the acts acts that are came into force to protect to protect forests okay these are the topics which we will cover in this lesson okay now let us see what is a forest okay people are having different aspects regarding forests some people are having thoughts forests are the home of wild animals like snakes or wild animals snakes or the dangerous birds like and the forest is a home of or uh, it is having so many dangerous valleys mountains and hills okay some people are generally traveling around these around these forests or some people are worshiping in the forest worshiping the forest to worship their deities okay and some people do the cultivation in the classics we have discussed about the pergolu village which is located in the hilly region okay in this village we have seen the people who are living in this village are doing the cultivation the cultivation is called pod cultivation pod cultivation means remember the pod cultivation pod cultivation means the people are removing trees and do the cultivation and doing the farming that is called the pod cultivation okay all these things are doing in this forest okay that's why we can say the people are having different th- different thoughts about this forest okay different people are having different types of uh, thoughts regarding the forest then how can you define a forest how can you define a forest okay forest is uh, nothing but a large tract of large tract of land that is covered by the trees that is tra- covered by the trees okay we can conclude if it is belongs to forest with the help of three ways that are if any land if any large tract of land that is covered a large a number of kilometers of width and breadth we can conclude or we can say that is forest okay if it is a land a large tract of large tract of land large tract of land 
Kali Trees Large tract of land having trees that is covered a kilometers of length and width that is called a forest. Generally, generally the forests are having different types of trees. Okay. Immediately we can think if okay if you hear the word forest, immediately we can imagine the word trees. There are growing, they are growing in this village, in these areas, there are different types of trees are growing. Okay, that is the thought immediately we can get. Okay, now the second one is different types of biodiversity. Different types of biodiversity and undergrowth. Okay, the second one is undergrowth. Undergrowth means some of the small plants, thorny bushes which are Growing among between among these uh, trees, okay, undergrowths, and about the third one, different types of biodiversity which is growing at the place that is called a forest. Biodiversity. Biodiversity means different types of living organisms. Different types of living organisms. Biodiversity. Bio means it is uh, related to the Greek word that is its meaning is bio means life. Diversity means different types. Different types of living organisms are different types of living things that are living together in a place. Like the different types of wild animals and the different types of animals and growing trees and growing different types of thorny bushes. Okay, these are all living together. The place where the different types of biodiversity is living all together, that is the place is considered as the forest. Okay, in this way we can conclude that we can conclude that that is a forest. In the forest, some of the tribes also doing photo cultivation, and some of them are living along with these with this biodiversity. It means different types of plants and different types of wild animals along with the, these wild animals and wild plants some of people are also living in these areas okay those areas are considered as a forest generally how can you consider whether the area is belongs to a forest or not with the help of uh, these uh, conclusions if any area is having is having large tract of large tract of land having trees having trees Okay, it means it is about kilometers of length and kilometers of width. width. And if any undergrowth, undergrowth means like bushes, thorny bushes and uh, some small plants, grass, different types of grass, okay, which is growing among these uh, large trees that is considered as the forest. Okay, biodiversity. Biodiversity means different types of living things that are living together in a place. Different types of living organisms like uh, living things that are wild animals and wild plants, some of the grass, thorny bushes, like all these uh, are living together in one place. Okay, these are all the factors to conclude whether the area is a forest or not. Okay, now let us see classification of forest. How can you classify the forest? Okay, to classify the forest, we have to consider so many facts that are if you to classify the forest, we have to take the different types of trees that are grown in a particular region or in a particular area. Different types of types of trees, types of types of trees, and we have to consider rainfall. Rainfall of the particular region, consider the temperature of the region and about climate. Okay, these are all things we have to consider to classify the forest. To classify the forest. Okay, along with this, dense, dense, dense means density of trees 
density of trees dense or sparse okay if it is any area is having very more number of trees that are grown in a small area that is called dense if the small very low number of trees so so many low number of trees that are grown in a small area or in a large area that is a sparse sparse forest okay these are the factors we have to conclude or these are the factors we have to take we have to take we have to consider to classify the forest okay that are ones the types of trees that are grown in the area and rainfall of that particular region temperature and climate okay along with all this we can conclude that whether it is a dense forest and sparse forest a dense forest is this having very so many number of trees and so many number of different types of bushes and different types of undergrowth okay sparse means very less trees that are grown in large area less trees that are grown in large area or it is having any only thorny bushes or and thorny trees or thorny plants okay these types of forests are called as sparse forests okay along with the with the help of these all factors we can classify the forest okay now let us see the different types of forest we are having the different types of forest generally the forests are divided into four types along with the concentration of all the factors we have discussed just now okay ever green forest ever green forest the second one is deciduous forest the third one is thorny thorny forest the fourth one is littoral littoral forest these are the types of forests okay how can you classify these forests with the help of temperature climate rainfall and the dense and sparse we can conclude the whether it is a evergreen forest thorny forest or littoral forest or the deciduous forest okay some example okay now let us see one example about evergreen forest or okay if you see the himalayan region there is uh, no trees are growing there is no trees suppose if you see the polar regions location of these uh, forests is in the himalayas in the polar regions and the areas which are covered with uh, sand and the desert areas and the coastal areas are not having the forest regions okay only in inlands in lands of the countries are uh, these uh, forests are growing uh, generally the forests are grow not grown in himalayan regions himalayan regions it means polar regions himalayan regions the desert regions the sand sandy regions and the coastal regions okay along the coastal regions okay these are the places where the forest did not grow the forest did not grow okay now see the different types of forests that are the evergreen forest deciduous forest thorny forest and littoral forest okay in the next class we will see the detailed explanation about these different types of forest okay thank you children